The dawn of motion pictures capturing reality on film. The late 19th century witnessed a groundbreaking invention, the motion picture camera. This device, which could capture and project moving images, revolutionized the way people perceived reality and entertainment. Pioneers like the Lumiere brothers in France and Thomas Edison in the United States experimented with capturing moving images. Their relentless pursuit of innovation laid the groundwork for the film industry as we know it today. In 1895, the Lumieres held their first public film screening in Paris, showcasing short, simple films of everyday life. This event marked a significant milestone in the history of cinema as it introduced the public to the concept of moving pictures. These early films, often documentaries, captivated audiences with the magic of motion. The ability to see real life events unfold on screen was a novel experience that left viewers in awe. Edison's kinetoscope, a peep show device, allowed individual viewers to experience the novelty of moving pictures. This invention was a precursor to the modern movie projector and played a crucial role in popularizing the concept of motion pictures. These early inventions marked the birth of cinema, forever changing the way we see and interact with the world. The ability to capture and replay moments in time opened up new possibilities for storytelling and documentation. Early films were limited in length and narrative scope. They often consisted of single unedited shots that lasted only a few minutes minutes. They often depicted scenes from everyday life, such as workers leaving a factory or a train arriving at a station. These simple yet captivating scenes provided a glimpse into the daily lives of people at the time. The novelty of seeing moving images was enough to draw crowds. People were fascinated by the ability to see motion captured on film, and this fascination drove the early success of the medium. As filmmakers experimented with the new medium, they began to explore its narrative potential. They started to realize that film could be used to tell stories, not just capture real life events. Short comedic sketches, historical reenactments, and even early attempts at special effects emerged, laying the foundation for the development of cinematic storytelling. These early experiments demonstrated the versatility of film as a medium for creative expression. These early films, though primitive by today's standards, sparked the imagination of audiences and paved the way for the evolution of film as an art form. They showed that film could be more than just a novelty. It could be a powerful tool for storytelling and artistic expression. The innovations and experiments of these early filmmakers set the stage for the rich and diverse world of cinema that we enjoy today. The silent film era, spanning from the late 1890s to the late 1920s, was a period of remarkable innovation and artistic expression. This era marked the birth of cinema as an art form, where filmmakers experimented with new techniques and storytelling methods to captivate audiences. The absence of synchronized sound meant that visual elements had to carry the weight of the narrative, leading to a unique and powerful form of storytelling. Without spoken dialogue, Filmmakers relied heavily on visual storytelling techniques. They used lighting, set design, and camera angles to convey mood and atmosphere. The use of shadows and light played a crucial role in creating dramatic effects and highlighting important moments in the story. Filmmakers also employed creative editing techniques to enhance the narrative flow and maintain audience engagement. Actors conveyed emotions through exaggerated gestures and facial expressions, accompanied by live music and intertitles to provide narration and dialogue. The live music, often performed by a pianist or an orchestra, added an emotional layer to the viewing experience, enhancing the impact of the visuals. Intertitles or title cards were used to present key dialogue and narrative information, bridging the gap between scenes and guiding the audience through the story. Silent films developed their own unique grammar, using techniques like iris shots, cross-cutting and montage to create meaning and evoke emotions. Iris shots, where the frame gradually opens or closes to a circular shape, were used to focus attention on specific details or to transition between scenes. 
Cross-cutting allowed filmmakers to show simultaneous actions happening in different locations, building suspense, and enhancing the narrative complexity. Montage sequences, which involved the rapid editing of multiple shots, were used to convey the passage of time or to create symbolic associations. Comedians like Charlie Chaplin and Buster Keaton mastered physical comedy, becoming international stars. Their performances relied on precise timing, physical agility, and expressive body language to deliver humor without the need for words. Chaplin's iconic character, the Tramp, became a symbol of resilience and humanity, while Keaton's stoic deadpan expression contrasted with his daring stunts and elaborate gags, earning him the nickname The Great Stone Face. D.W. Griffith, a pioneering American director, pushed the boundaries of a narrative filmmaking with his epic films like The Birth of a Nation in 1915 and Intolerance in 1916. These films were groundbreaking in their scope and ambition, featuring large casts, elaborate sets, and complex storylines. Despite the controversial content of The Birth of a Nation, Griffith's technical innovations and storytelling techniques had a lasting impact on the film industry. These films showcased Griffith's mastery of editing techniques and his ability to tell complex stories on a grand scale. He used parallel editing to weave together multiple storylines, creating a sense of interconnectedness and building dramatic tension. His innovative use of close-ups and long shots added depth to the visual narrative, allowing audiences to connect with characters on an emotional level. Despite their technical limitations, silent films were capable of conveying a wide range of emotions and themes. Filmmakers explored topics such as love, loss, ambition, and social issues, using visual metaphors and symbolic imagery to communicate their messages. The absence of spoken dialogue encouraged audiences to engage more deeply with the visual elements, interpreting the story through the actor's expressions and the director's visual cues. The absence of spoken dialogue forced filmmakers to be more creative in their storytelling, relying on powerful imagery, evocative music, and compelling performances to captivate audiences. This creativity led to the development of innovative techniques that are still used in filmmaking today. The silent era's emphasis on visual storytelling laid the foundation for the cinematic language that continues to evolve and inspire modern filmmakers. The silent era laid the groundwork for the development of film as a sophisticated art form and continues to inspire filmmakers today. The techniques and innovations pioneered during this time have become integral to the language of cinema, influencing everything from narrative structure to visual composition. Modern filmmakers often draw inspiration from silent films, paying homage to the artistry and creativity of this foundational period in cinematic history. The legacy of the silent film era is a testament to the power of visual storytelling and its enduring impact on the art of filmmaking. The introduction of sound in the late 1920s revolutionized filmmaking, marking a significant turning point in its history. Before this era, films were silent, relying solely on visual storytelling, exaggerated expressions, and title cards to convey dialogue and narrative. The silent film era had its own charm and artistry, but the advent of sound brought a new dimension to the cinematic experience. The Jazz Singer in 1927, a part talkie musical, is often credited with ushering in the sound era. This film was groundbreaking, featuring synchronized dialogue and songs performed by Al Jolson. Audiences were mesmerized by the novelty of hearing actors speak and sing on screen, which added a layer of authenticity and emotional depth that silent films could not achieve. The advent of synchronized sound allowed for spoken dialogue, sound effects, and music to be seamlessly integrated into films, enhancing their realism and emotional impact. This technological advancement meant that filmmakers could now use sound to build tension, create atmosphere, and develop characters in ways that were previously impossible. The transition to sound was not without its challenges. Filmmakers had to rethink their entire approach to production. The new sound equipment was cumbersome, and the need for quiet on set to capture clear audio limited the dynamic camera movements that were a hallmark of silent films. Early sound recording equipment was bulky and limited camera movement. Directors and cinematographers had to innovate new techniques to work around these limitations, often resulting in more static shots and less fluid storytelling. Many silent film stars accustomed to exaggerated acting styles struggled to adapt to the demands of spoken dialogue. Their performances, which had been larger than life to convey emotion without sound, now seemed over the top and out of place in the new sound era. Despite these initial hurdles, sound films quickly gained popularity, 
transforming the cinematic experience. Audiences were thrilled by the novelty of hearing voices, music, and sound effects, which made the stories on screen feel more real and immediate. The ability to incorporate dialogue and sound effects opened up new possibilities for storytelling. Filmmakers could now use sound to enhance the narrative, create mood, and develop characters in more nuanced ways. Filmmakers could now create more nuanced characters, explore complex themes, and immerse audiences more fully in the narrative. The addition of sound allowed for more sophisticated storytelling techniques, such as the use of voiceover narration, sound motifs, and musical scores to underscore the emotional tone of a scene. The sound revolution marked a turning point in film history, ushering in a new era of cinematic storytelling. It was a period of rapid innovation and experimentation as filmmakers explored the potential of this new medium. It paved the way for the development of new genres, acting styles, and filmmaking techniques that continue to shape the art of cinema today. The legacy of the sound era is evident in the rich, immersive audiovisual experiences that modern audiences enjoy, proving that the introduction of sound was one of the most significant advancements in the history of filmmaking. <laughs> a spectrum of colors, from monochrome to technicolor. While sound revolutionized film, color transformed its entire visual landscape. Early experiments with color and film date back to the early 20th century, but it was the introduction of technicolor in the 1930s that truly brought color to the forefront of cinema. The Wizard of Oz in 1939 and Gone with the Wind in 1939 showcased the vibrancy and immersive quality of Technicolor, captivating audiences with their stunning visuals and rich colors. Color allowed filmmakers to create more realistic and visually appealing worlds, enhancing the emotional impact of their stories and narratives. The transition to color was gradual and took time. Black and white film remained the standard for many years, particularly in genres like film noir and documentaries, which relied on stark contrasts. However, as color technology became more sophisticated and affordable, it gradually became the norm. The use of color in film is not merely decorative. It can be used expressively to create mood, symbolism, and visual metaphors that enhance story. From the vibrant hues of musicals to the gritty realism of war films, color has become an integral part of cinematic language, shaping our emotional responses to film in profound ways.